Mari with CCM Magazine. I'm super excited about these guests. These are the Irwin brothers and their amazing arm candy. Are we, are we the wives? <laughs> yes. Oh, beautiful. So can we? Can you introduce us? This is this is Beth. Beth. And I'm, I'm Andy and this is my wife Mandy and it, it all rhymes. And I, I'm way out of my league. So. Well, thank you for being here with us. So I hear you guys have the DVD coming out on the 12th, on June 12th, right? Yes, we do. Thank you for mentioning. Yeah, I can only imagine we'll be on DVD nationwide and blu-ray on june the 12th and we're really excited and it's just it's been so wildly beyond anything we could have ever dreamed yes almost 10 million tickets have been sold in uh wow. in, in a little over two months and we're just so honored and blessed by by the fans of mercy me and of the song and of christian music um that sent such a clear message uh that, that there's an audience for films like this yeah you guys really have had a great team around you with the music with the actors with your families it, it's just really inspirational so what do you guys have next after this? What are you working on already? A, lo a long summer of sleep and okay. just kind of passing Okay, you get a little out. break. Uh, so yeah, yeah it's, it's been a, an amazing journey and it's been a, a team effort. We're just, you know, it's been such a treat to bring this story to life. Yeah. And to have, you know, cast, you know, having Dennis Quaid and people like that in it and telling the story behind the song that we all love. You know, it's been dream come true, but the, the thing on the other side of this is a lot of rest. Yes, perfect. Yeah. And so how, just to back it up just a little bit, how did it even come about? How did you even, how did that process happen to even say, hey, I want to make the movie I Can Only Imagine? Well, for me, it started just being a fan of the song. I mean, okay. I love I Can Only Imagine. Yeah. And, and you know, at, at painful times in my life, I mean, it was like a, it was like an anchor of hope. You yes. Know? And uh, not to me only, but to millions of people. And so when I heard the story behind the song. Yeah. Uh, and I heard Bart say, I know God is real because of the change I saw in my dad. Yeah. And I, he said, I watched my dad transform from a monster to the man I wanted to become. Uh, that was so powerful, that reconciliation that I knew uh, I had to do the movie. And so it came to me first uh, as a story. And it started with Andy with the relationship with Bart. Yeah, Bart, we invited him to a, a screening just on a whim uh, of one of other films. And at, at the end of that, he said, uh, I don't know if you know this, but they're developing my life story as a movie. I would love for you guys to consider directing. And I said, well, I don't know if you know this, but they sent us a script this morning. And so it was just meant to be. Wow. And we became close friends and, uh, and as we dug into the story we're like how has this story not been told and how do we get to be the ones to tell it it's just it's an honor and then you brought it to life and God did the rest absolutely beautiful well welcome thank you so much guys thank you. thanks for stopping by to speak it. with us right, thank you so much ciao Thanks.